must maintain enthroned thinking. Ephesians chapter 2 verses 4 through 7. But God who was rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved and raised us up together and made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. We are continuing to explore this truth of our being seated with Christ in the heavenly places, something that God has done for us by grace, in the riches of his grace and kindness towards us. That he has made us sit together with Christ in heavenly realms. So that is our position, spiritually, spiritual position in Christ. But how does it affect our daily life? First, we talked about how uh, it affects our identity, that we have our identity from our position in Christ. Here's the second way that it affects us. It affects our thinking. You know, you and I must have what we could call as enthroned thinking. That is, we begin to think from that perspective, that you are somebody who is from that realm of authority. That's who you are. You begin to think like that. Your perspective on situations and circumstances in your life come from or should be of that of a person who was seated on a throne. So try to envision that, try to imagine that. Imagine a king, when he sees something happening around him, he does not look at that situation as an ordinary peasant. He looks at it as a king. He looks at it as what he could do, how he would address that situation because he's a king, because he has a throne backing him up. Now that's enthroned thinking. That is the way you and I as believers must think. Now this is not fiction. This is not something to inflate our ego. This is something that the Bible is telling us that God has done for us in Christ. That in the, as far as the spiritual realm is concerned, you are somebody who's been enthroned with Christ. And so when you walk in this natural world, material world, you can draw out of who your spiritual position in Christ. And you begin to think from that perspective, there's a throne backing you up and you look at it from an enthroned perspective, an enthroned thinking perspective. What can the kingdom of God do in this situation? How can the kingdom of God address this matter? How would God, how would Christ deal with this situation? Now, why are you thinking like that? Because you are seated with Christ in heavenly realms. You don't think failure, you don't think defeat, you don't think despair, you don't think hopelessness because that's not the way a king would think. That's not the way somebody who is enthroned would think. Those things are, should be foreign to us. We think we have enthroned thinking. We think from our position in Christ Jesus and we begin to deal with the situations from that perspective. Let's do that. Let's pray. Father. We ask that you help us develop enthroned thinking, to look at things from our position in Christ at the right hand of the Father and begin to address the situations knowing that the throne of God is backing us up. Help us to have enthroned thinking. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.